Number three, what are the largest and smallest resistances you can obtain by connecting a 36 ohm, 50 ohm, and 700 ohm resistor together? So um, the largest resistance will always come from the uh, resistances being connected in series. And the smallest will always be from resistances connected in parallel. And the reason for that is, you know, quite simple. So pretend you have a very simple circuit here. You got two resistances, great, blah, blah, blah. And then pretend you have another circuit, but they are now in parallel with one another, okay? So in other words, it's going to look just like this. So this one in series, um, in order to, let's say, for the current to flow around this particular circuit, it has to pass through this resistance, and then it also has to pass through this resistance in order to complete the full circuit. So essentially, it's hitting two resistances in a row, right? Whereas in parallel, to, for the current to go around the circuit now, it can flow through the first one, or it can flow through the second one. It'll, fall, it'll also flow simultaneously through both, but to get through the second resistance, let's say, it does not have to go through the first resistance as it did in series, all right? So there is just less resistance overall in a parallel arrangement. There's more ways that the current can flow around the circuit. So hopefully that makes sense, right? Um, anyway, getting back to the problem. So knowing that the largest will be in series, I'm just going to simply calculate that the total resistance in series will be equal to first resistance plus the second plus the third, you know, blah, 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 however many you have. So the first is going to be 36. The second is 50. And the one after that is 700, right? Make sure you got consistent units. They all better be in ohms. If they were in kilo ohms or, you know, milli ohms, whatever, you got to make sure you got all the same units there to add them together. So when you add these all together, it's going to be 700 plus 50, which is 750 plus 36, which is 786. So that's 786 now ohms. All right. Easy enough. Now in parallel, you're going to see that the uh, math will work out to be less. And you'll also, hopefully, it'll make sense here based on the picture. Obviously, I talk about three resistances here in the problem, but I only detailed two, but it wouldn't matter. Right. Um, if anything, it'll just compound the effect. So one over R1 plus one over that's an R, sorry, 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 now. Plug in your resistances. So this is now 1 over, the resistance parallel will be equal to 1 over 36 plus 1 over 50 plus 1 over 700. Plug that now on into the calculator. And I'm going to move this up just to give myself a little more space. I'll move it up to there. So it's now going to be 1 over 36 plus 1 over 50 plus 1 over 700. And that comes out to now be a decimal. Now, careful, that is not the final answer. Okay. Why? Well, because I heard you, I know, because this is one over the resistance in parallel. We don't want to know one over the resistance in parallel. We want to know just the resistance in parallel, right? So this is 0 0.0492. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Now recall that this is a value over one. Okay. And if I want to find RP over one and not one over RP, all I have to simply do is flip this side of my fraction and then I better also flip that side. So what'll happen now is this will be RP over one or AKA just RP, just the resistance in parallel that will equal then one over now 0 0.0492, blah, blah, blah. Now take that and plug it into the calculator. So one divided by point, you know, 0 0.0492, blah, blah, blah. And it comes out to about be about 20.3. All right, 20.3 ohms. So whenever you're calculating, you know, resistances in parallel, please make sure that you don't forget to take the reciprocal, basically, of that answer when you add up all those fractions. Okay? So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. I will see you soon. All right? If you can subscribe, that helps us out tremendously. We appreciate it very much. Be well.